on the mic. We got some more cool stuff from MJF. Maybe a little mean. Maybe a little out there. I don't know. I thought it was pretty funny personally, but oh, again, I'm not Brian Pillman Jr. So. MJF, is, MJ, yeah, I, seriously, if it was your you dad that he was talking about, maybe you would be a little bit more, you know, and, and that's the thing, man. I think that this is such, it's such a perfect segue that you just yeah. said, because, you know, we talk, we got to start this show talking about some of the, the all-time greats going at it with, with D. Bry, or Br- Brian Danielson and Kenny yeah. Omega. And then you get CM Punk uh, and and what we just said, Hobbs really emerging as a future star, um, getting yeah. a stamp of approval from everybody. Man, this feud between MJF and Pillman, when you talk about a feud of two young talents, yeah, this feels like a feud that can last for a very, very long time. Um, you know, one of those ones that I think AEW can go, go back to, you know, maybe – you know, you it's one of those as their careers both progress. I see these two guys crossing paths multiple times Austin. down there. Down, I mean, it, it just works, right? I mean, yeah. MJF is shown that he's willing to go to to new lows, um, and the guy is absolutely hilarious on the mic um, and, and fearless, uh, willing to willing to take shots that most people can't and won't do. Um, you got to give the you got to give the man credit for that, and he delivers it with such confidence that um, you just can't help but sit back and laugh and, and appreciate yeah. his what a great the guy is phenomenal at what he does. Um, and we've talked about this countless times with MJF. What a blessing it must be to be a baby face that goes against this guy. Yeah, because it makes so easy. It makes your job so easy. And Pillman, he's not necessarily. I mean, let's be honest. A young kid, a great story. We all want to see good things happen for this young man with the the true adversity that that he had to overcome in his life. Mm -hmm. Um, And when you pair that up with a fiery attitude, a a positive attitude, we love positivity here at AEW. Yes, sir. Dynamite download. And you pair, and then you combine that with the fact that you can tell. I mean, we've talked about this t- time and again. Tillman is putting in the work. Um, the guy is, is rounding into form. MJF versus Pillman um, really feels like such a great matchup of a true heel and a true baby face. AW's hitting in all cylinders with this one. Yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. It- I think that part of why it's working so well is because they're just letting MJF say whatever he wants. Let him let him yell at Brian Pillman in hell. How awful! That oh was my god. I can't believe he went there. He he starts talking in heaven, then he just goes, "Ah, forget that. We know where you're at, Brian." Oh. And then he looks down and yells at him in hell. Terrible, Pretty absolutely ruthless. terrible. But it was typical again. Though. It, it what makes a dirt bag. <laughs> he is a giant dirt bag, but he makes it work so well because he's so unapologetic about it. He just says whatever he wants. Nobody cares. The, the crowd just boos him like crazy. And then he laughs at them for booing him. Yeah. He doesn't care. And that's yeah. why he's, he's probably the, the, the most despised heel in the business right now. And I don't think it's really close. Uh, and, um, and, and brother to, to piggyback <laughs> off that yeah, MJF in front of a live crowd that is that is pure gold. I mean, yeah. he this man knows how to rile people up, get a reaction like nobody else in the business that I've seen in a long, long time. Um, he's just so easy to to, to despise and hate. And, and in an era where so many of us want to cheer on the bad guys, um, MJF is so good at being bad, man. This Number one pick, man. Absolutely unbelievable. 